What is going on YouTube? Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. I'm excited to bring you guys another motivational video. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Matthew Baza. Every Wednesday and Sunday I come up on here and I read from John Maxwell's The Daily Reader, read The Daily Devotional, and hope to bring you guys some motivation for today. Super excited for this uh, this read today. It was actually a pretty good one. Opened my eyes a little bit about things that I can do differently immediately um, because everybody's different. Uh, to give you guys a little update on what's been going on recently, I uh, have started 75 hard and just finished day three not too long ago and uh, super excited for that. Uh, can say I'm off to a good start. I've got some routines that I put into play that should make this pretty seamless for myself. Not going to say it's going to be an easy challenge, but I will say that I'm going to do my best to get through this entire 75 day process without failing once. And I think the biggest thing is just winning the night before, right? In order to win your morning or win the, the first part of your day, you got to win the night before and make sure you're actually prepared. So what I do is I make sure that I have everything prepped as far as my food, clothes, so that way once I wake up, the only thing I have to do is just kind of put those things together, which probably takes five minutes, and get my ass out of the door and get to the fucking gym so that way I can get the hardest thing out of the way first, which is for me, waking up early to go to the gym and getting that stuff done to get my first workout done. Uh, if you guys want more information on 75 Hard, I got a couple videos. I actually have a day in the live video uh, on my YouTube channel that you can check out that kind of walks you through what that is. And if you want more information on it in the next video, just comment below and let me know. If there's also anything you guys want me to talk about or things that you would like to see in these videos, please comment below, like, and subscribe. And uh, just understand that these videos are just to help you get 1% better. Um, you know, I want to kind of create an environment like Andy Frasilla has with his podcast and also Bajor's Koolian where they're not doing anything that's like, um, you know, uh, preaching ads or selling anything that they don't sell themselves on their podcast because they just want the growth to happen organically. And I kind of, I not kind of, I do want the exact same way for this to grow uh, on this. And I, I don't know if I'd consider this podcast just kind of like a, uh, by, uh, you know, twice a week check in with you guys and give you guys some motivation. You know, we're halfway through the week. I hope you guys have had a great start to your week. And uh, I've actually brought my book today. The sun's out, so it's kind of hard to see. I don't know if I can put this in front of the microphone. Let me move this real quick. But this is the actual book. I, I know I said that I would drop the uh, link for the book in the description. This time I actually will do what I say I'm going to do. But uh, I apologize for that. But we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Today is an absolute great one. Today is May the 3rd, and it says, lead everyone differently. And it says, one of the mistakes rookie leaders often make is that they try to lead everyone the same way. But let's face it, everyone doesn't respond to the same kind of leadership. You should try to be consistent with everyone. You should treat everyone with kindness and respect. But don't expect to use the same strategies and methods with everyone. You have to figure out what leadership buttons push with each individual person on your team. One person will respond well to being challenged. Another one will want to be nurtured. One will need the game plan drawn up for him. Another one will be more passionate if she can create the game plan herself. One will require consistent, frequent follow-up. Another will want some breathing room. If you desire to be an effective leader, you need to take responsibility for conforming your leadership style to what your people need, not expecting them to adapt to you. The 360-degree three, leader. How have you been leading poorly and how can you change to get the best from your team? I think this is absolutely eye-opening for me immediately because um, I'm somebody who wants to be challenged. I'm somebody who needs frequent follow-up. I'm somebody who needs to get that fucking kick in the ass, you know, uh, maybe get yelled at, you know, get, you know, get fired up. Uh, to get me going, but not everybody is the exact same way. I have, you know, coworkers in the past who, you know, I've realized that if you try to treat them in the same way or come at them in the same manner, that they tend to shut down because they feel like you're being too aggressive and they don't know how to respond to aggressiveness the same way I do. I'm a very passionate, enthusiastic, direct person, so I can take that differently than somebody maybe who's a little bit more patient. Um, you know, kind of more extroverted who, you know, wants to talk things out a little bit more uh, rather than just get right to the point, punch me in the mouth so I can take it on the chin 
type deal and, and let me fucking roll. You know, um, everybody's different. You got to treat everybody with the same respect, but you can't come at everybody with the exact same intensity as you would, you know, one person versus the other. You know, I, I feel like, especially in, in sales, this is extremely important. You have to understand personalities are very different and you have to talk to them in a different manner. I'm somebody who's very direct. So when you talk to somebody who's very direct, we want you to get straight to the point. You know, we like things that are process driven so we understand where we're at at point A and where we're gonna end up at uh, point Z. Makes it very easy for us. You could be very extroverted, right? Where you uh, wanna talk about everything and you know, it's sometimes not always straight to the point and things get a little bit more drawn out. Uh, you could be very structured, right? Structured people like exactly the same thing. They like processes. They like a lot of information so they can analyze and make the decision on their own time. Same thing with people who are very patient, right? Patient people are also the exact same way. They're going to make the decision on their own time. You can't push themselves. And a little joke I learned from the Hendrick Automotive Group because everything I'm mentioning right now is something that I learned from the Hendrick Automotive Group is patient people are the ones that are... <laughs> I think they're the ones that they said have a, a serial killer uh, uh, personality trait. Basically, like if, if you piss them off long or if you push them hard enough and piss them off bad enough, you better run for the door and get the fuck out of there. Um, but, you know, you just got to understand that everybody's different. You can't have the same sales tactic as everybody else. That doesn't mean you treat them with any different respect. You know, come at them softer as far as like uh, maybe, you know, you're changing numbers to try to make it easier. No. Don't do anything like that. Treat everybody with the same respect as you'd want to be treated, right? You know, hit them at the highest number, but understand the way you uh, the way you talk to them or maybe the way that they're going to articulate what you're saying is going to be different, right? So if you come at somebody who's very patient and you're, you're like me who tends to be like a bulldog and you're just coming, you know, straight at them every single time, pushing, 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 you know, that might not, res they might not respond well to that. So you've got to understand the levels of different uh the levels of personalities and the differences between them so that way you yourself can articulate how you're going to strategize getting the close or getting the win or getting whatever you want out of this conversation. It's, it's not just sales, but it's in life. Take this so if you have like relationship problems or just a relationship in general and you're having a conversation, right? Understanding the personality of your significant other and how you would talk to this person, right? The way you talk to your wife may not be the same way you talk to your mom. The way you talk to your mom isn't going to be the same way you talk to your uncle, right? Because they all have different personalities. Or maybe they're the same. So you understand that, hey, my dad and my uncle are very similar because they have these, they, you know, share the same blood, same parents. They're both very direct people. So I could talk to them the same way. I understand that my brother-in-law is a very direct human being, so when I talk to him, I would talk to him the exact same way I would want to be talked to myself. I get straight to the point. I try not to have long, drawn-out conversations because it's not what he wants, right? My best friend Brady back in Atlanta, the guy is uh, very extroverted, right? He is somebody who you want to have a long conversation with, and you know you want to talk about a multitude of things to get back to the you know original point of the conversation because that's how he is. He's a chatterbox. Right, and I have a lot of friends who are like that, and there's a lot more people out there that don't realize that they're more extroverted than they really are. Uh, I myself, when I uh, took my personality test before working with the Hendrick Automotive Group, um, everybody thought I was very uh, analytical and very structured, and they didn't think I was direct at all. And uh, I didn't either. I didn't know, uh, in a way, I guess, I knew um, I was very passionate, I was very result driven, goal oriented, and those things kind of lead into somebody who is very direct. And, you know, as time went on and my sales experience grew, I understood and people around me understood that, hey, this guy is very direct. And sometimes he's direct <laughs> in a bad way because he just tells you how it is, tells you it's straight, and sometimes has no filter. Um, but as I've grown in the sales uh, in the sales world and the car business, I've understood, and I'm only getting better. I'm not perfect at this yet, uh, but I'm only getting better is understanding that I need to speak to everybody differently. And this is something that I'm going to use tomorrow when I go into work to ask people, hey, when you want to be, uh, when you look at a leader and you look at how you would like them to speak to you and what motivates you and what certain ways, 
what does that look like for you? So that way I'm not coming at you with, you know, maybe some advice in a very aggressive way or a very compassionate way. Do you like somebody who fires you up? Do you like like a drill sergeant or like a football coach who fires you the fuck up and wants you to be motivated? Or do you want somebody who wants to be more compassionate, somebody who's a little bit more nurturing and, and sympathetic and things like that? You know, how how would you like your advice to come basically? Like, how would you like me to serve your advice on a platter for you? Like if I'm like a server at a, a restaurant or whatever, you know, basically that's like, how would you like it? Um, like what makes sense to you, what motivates you, what gets you fired up, what gets you ready for the day. And, and that's the biggest thing that I have to understand with this, this YouTube thing, right? Is not all of you are gonna perceive this message the exact same way. Some of you are gonna be like, this kid's a fucking retard. Some of you are gonna fucking get it. And, and that's okay, I don't expect everybody to like what I have to say. I understand everybody has their own personal opinion. The great thing about America is that we have the uh, free will to think whatever we want and feel however we want. So whether you like what I have to say, whether you don't like what I have to say, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Um, as long as I know the message that I'm trying to get across is good, that's all that really matters in that point. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that was a, a phenomenal read for today, and it, it definitely gave me some perspective. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really all I got to say, but it, it was good. Um, yeah, I mean, I think on Sunday when we come back to these videos, I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe do a, a day in a life, uh, show you guys maybe a little around what I'm doing in Austin uh, every day and, you know, 75 hard. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating again and maybe just give you a little bit more in depth. I'm not sure. It might be one of these. It might be, you know, like a short little devotional read again, depending on what I have going on in that day. I won't know until the weekend draws closer. Uh, but I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thank you so much for following. If you haven't already, like I said, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment below. If you've gotten anything from this video or any of my other videos uh, that you've watched, Please go ahead and share it. I'd appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate those of you who have uh, shared and, and liked my videos and commented and you know sent me you know uh, text messages. Hey, thank you for the video and, and things like it means the world to me. Uh, also, when I was sick over the weekend, I do appreciate those of you who checked in on me, making sure I wasn't like depressed or dying. No, I was just sick, and uh, that's all that was. But we're better. We're about ninety-eight percent back. Uh, still taking a lot of uh, flu medicine like Dayquil, and Nyquil, and all this other shit I'm buying from HEB, but uh, we're getting there, and uh, every single day we're getting 1% better, and I'm super happy with the process, the routines I'm building, the person I'm becoming, and I can only hope that you guys feel the exact same way about yourself, and that's what these videos are for. These videos are for you, and the benefit, is, the benefit I get out of it is understanding that if somebody takes even the smallest amount of information, and can use it for their benefit to get 1% better in any part of their life. That's all this, that's all the, uh, these videos mean to me and the benefit that I get from it. So I appreciate it. Love you guys. Crush the rest of your week. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Sunday.